pollinator protector, Chip Taylor. Beautiful and delicate, yet capable of traveling 2,800 miles from Canada to Mexico, it's no wonder the majestic monarch is the best known butterfly species. But the number of North America's most famous butterflies has plunged to the lowest levels ever recorded and its migration is in crisis. The widespread use of herbicides and industrial agriculture has threatened this iconic pollinator by destroying milkweed, the very plant they need to both feed and reproduce. And the monarch's plight also points to issues facing nature's other important pollinators. Thankfully, Chip Taylor, founder of Monarch Watch, is making important strides in restoring the monarch's habitat by increasing public awareness and involving local communities, all in an effort to help these inspiring and very determined butterflies bounce back. Hi, I'm Chip Taylor. I'm director of Monarch Watch here at the University of Kansas. Monarch Watch is a program I created in 1990. Almost everything that we do involves uh, monarch conservation. The monarch migration is just one of those fantastic wonders of nature. What we have is a, a population that winters in Mexico, and about the end of February, early March, these butterflies start moving north, and the females uh, mate and lay eggs, and they progressively move northward. They get up to about as far as Kansas, and then most of them have died out. And then their offspring take the migration all the way up to Winnipeg. And then there are two or three more generations. And then the migration starts back again in late August. By the time you get to the end of October, they have reached Mexico again. Monarchs have evolved to only use a, a group of plants in, that are called milkweeds. Milkweeds are their host plant. The females lay eggs on these plants. The larvae feed on these plants. It's the only plant that larvae will feed on. If you don't have milkweeds, you don't have monarchs. One of the things that concerns us is that milkweeds have been eliminated over large areas. And we realized that the monarch population was gonna go down because of habitat loss. So we created a program called the Monarch Waystation Program. And in that program, we tried to encourage people to add milkweeds and nectar plants to their gardens. And it's been a modestly successful program. We have something like 7,600 registered sites across the country but we need about seven million. So we need all those gardeners out there to join us in this fight to save the monarch migration. This is a Monarch Way Station seed kit. And if you order one of these for your Monarch Way Station, you'll receive milkweed plants that you can plant in your own garden and then establish your own monarch habitats where the monarch butterflies can come and mate and lay their eggs on the milkweed plants that you've planted. My name is Elliot Demler. We are here at Taylor Creek Restoration Nurseries, a division of Applied Ecological Services. This is our nursery where we grow all of the milkweeds for Monarch Watch. Monarch Watch initially approached us wanting to grow a few thousand plants to try to distribute to help support the monarch population. We started off with about 5,000, and this year we're at 50 plus thousand milkweeds for Monarch Watch. Applied Ecological Services is ecstatic to be uh, involved with Monarch Watch uh, and the great work they're doing to help conserve and protect the monarch butterfly. Uh, they're playing a critical role in, in education and outreach to help uh, save this dwindling species. One of the reasons for keeping the monarchs and the pollinators intact is that the pollinators are a keystone group. They keep of the system intact. They provide the services that produce all of the food that everything else feeds on, including us. And so if we look at the larger issue in terms of our own food production, about 30% of the food that we consume is actually pollinated by pollinators. And we need those pollinators. It's, a, it's as simple as that. We need them for our own food production and we need them to maintain the integrity of the ecosystems that we live in. Winning this Growing Green Award will help us uh, validate the program that we have developed here. We're trying to get the message out and we don't have a marketing team <laughs> and this will help us market uh, the mission that we have. We'd really like to thank NRDC for this award, this Growing Green Award. It's very helpful to us and their support has been very helpful in that it has allowed us to uh, have a program where we can advertise that we will distribute free milkweed flats to something like 180 different schools and nonprofits. And we're halfway there and we're having a lot of fun with it.